What is up guys? Welcome back. So I've mentioned that I've been trying really really hard just to try to get myself a little bit better at League of Legends. And I thought what would be a faster way than to get myself a professional League of Legends coach. So last night I sat down with my coach, well figuratively not literally, and he basically answered a lot of my questions that I had about League of Legends and basically just improved my game quite a lot. So my coach is Rohan from LoL Academy and he's peak challenger in season 6 and is currently sitting in master tier as of now. I'll include a link down below if you're interested. So I basically just wanted to upload this and show you guys what happened last night and maybe you'll learn something from this too. Well, I haven't played LeBlanc in a very long time. Like my I've only played her before the whole mastery system came out, so I'm like literally only level 2 on LeBlanc. Oh, um, okay. I played her really far back, like season, I don't know. What's your most played champion mid? Is it really Cardus or is it just you picked him up recently? Um, it's actually Kale. My, is it Kale? Because when, when I peaked, um, I mained Kale, but it was during the time when like Kale was really, really strong. I think, was it season 4 or something like that? Um, when she had like... Like the, she was being played in the pro games and stuff, and she had, and then one patch came and they cut her AP in half, um, and then yeah. I I wasn't able to play Kale anymore, like her AP also, scaling in half. Also, yes. I think you played her when when they used the Rage Blade on her, right? I, I uh, think like was, the old one. It was mm, the old Rage Blade, which was like much better. Or was it actually for? No, I I don't really remember when they played Kale so much. I, it, I was, it. it was like when they were building her like just full AP. Um, it was before the Gwensu even came out. It was like two seasons ago or something like that. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. That, that point, all right. Yeah, that point. So, well, yeah. Um, so basically, do, do, do you want to play... Well, like, like when it comes to Kale right now, I wouldn't really recommend her mid since she's more of a top pick. Uh -huh, like, I see. She does have like wave clear, she's decent, but I don't feel like she have any kill pressure actually if you don't have if you're not like playing against very bad players. I think she I can show my stats for this this season. Oh, I've actually um when I climbed up from gold after like my my like after coming back to the game I actually played a lot of Sona. Sona um, mid. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Sona Min and it's working, it was working out really well. Like, really consistent win rate, really... Um... I have seen some Sona mid lanes, but it's just... Yeah, I, I found this like really big flaw with Sona, is that she can't push the lane at all. So if the enemy just con constantly shoves and roams, I can't do anything about him. Yeah, there's no any wave clear yeah. from her. That, that was yeah. the problem. But when if you can drag the game on to like the, the midpoint and then they just give you blue buff and you just all group together, she just constantly heals everyone back to full. So it, like you you have a very, very high chance to win like every single team fight. <laughs> just oh, yeah. by healing everyone. Yeah, constantly. Yeah. And her her rules could be also game changing something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like catch someone with the yes, old. And um like to, to tell the truth, I haven't played a lot this this season because I literally just came back to the game maybe like three four weeks ago, and I right. I started playing all all these random champions. Um, but I played a I played a lot of Vagar as well, and I played um. You you don't really play like the meta champions for now, like. Uh, oh, Victor. But it's, it's it's still like you know solo queue. Uh -huh. Yes, you can play everything, basically. But uh, oh. you know, mostly the champions that that are mostly played are like wave clear and rom. Uh huh. Yeah. No, and uh, Vagar is more of a AFK mid. Cartus uh, yeah. is also more of an AFK mid, and I... uh, Kale is isn't really good at roming and not Sona either. So uh, those are like champions that mostly like stay mid and just farm for mid game and end game when people group. Uh -huh. But in solo, you actually have, if you want to win games easier, especially in that, you want to have impact earlier in the game. Like from what I've seen in lower elo, oh, uh, yeah. people because whenever you go to the later stages of the game, you never know what will like happen. But if you know that you can snowball the early game, you 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 will just you know you won't get to the point where where one mistake is a game. You know, yeah, that's, early that's game, true. You can, 
you can try to snowball the game really hard. That's that's how you try to carry in lower in like uh, early and mid game. If you get to the late game, it's just going to be so much harder with the team because there's no coordination. And people get caught all the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, but I guess you can choose what you want to play, and I can just help you as much as I can. Um. Like what? What, what would, would you consider meta champion right now? Because I I do believe that I can pick up champions pretty fast. Like I play a lot of champions. I've I've been practicing a bit of like Anivia lately, just because she she seems to have a very high win rate as well. Yeah, Anivia is pretty decent because she has a good wave tier and also her mid game is really nice. You're you're talking uh, about but, like Victor or Cassie or something like that, right? Uh. Well, Car I said Karma LeBlanc too. Oh yeah, like, Karma LeBlanc. Those, those are champions that I would play too. Like, oh. yeah, even even like Annie works if you like, is she uh, Malzahar? I think it might be a very good idea to pick up LeBlanc again, but I I really haven't played her in, in a long time, so I don't think I have the mechanics it's, it's anymore. It's hard to see as for her. Like, it's only the chain that it's like the hardest to hit. When it comes, uh -huh. but, uh, I guess I guess you can go for a Cartes then if you if you really want to. Are. Um, maybe I'll queue up for. I I don't really care if I lose. Like I just mm. like I, I seriously don't care at all. Um, yeah. But you know if it if you think like LeBlanc's a really good choice, then I I can definitely pick her up, and I think you I want can to do. Try it. her. Yeah, I want. Okay, I well think... then first we could go quick to run some masteries. I don't really know. Okay. Um, all right. I would like to like see what what runes would you then have because okay. you know there are different runes in mid lane you can have. Um. Okay. So so, so this is, this is in Chinese. I'll I'll read it out to you or I'll translate it for you. Um. Basically, ah. the the rune page like I use for most mid laners are just a AP red or AP mark. So magic or not, pen. Not, not not AP Ma magic um, penetration. Um, magic pen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, magic pen. And then scaling HP for the yellow. Yeah, that's yeah. And and then I take like, um, I think it's like eight scaling. But, so 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 it's like ten percent um, CDR. Ten percent CDR in mid lane. Yeah, yeah, for for mid lane, like for the for the okay. um, for the the blue, the scaling at like ten percent. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, and like with the leftover, I take three AP. I think you can take like three. Wait, wait, you I think three, you know, three scaling, scaling or flat? Um, I actually scaling. take like one, two, three, four, five. I take like six scaling, and it equals ten percent at eighteen. I don't okay. think it. I don't know if that's good. And then the rest, yeah, I yeah, take yeah. Like scaling AP. This page, no, but the pages that you can use in mid lane, there, there's a lot. Basically, um, right now scaling uh, uh, runes like uh -huh. that gives you CDR scaling. Yeah. Um, isn't really like the best choice sometimes because there are champions for mid lane that build a lot of like if you go for example Mor Morello, Abyssal, uh -huh. and Sonia, you already yeah. have forty percent, right? Yeah. So yeah. some games actually don't want to have those the waste, you know, in the runes. Oh, I see. I I do so, have another page with just AP um or scaling AP uh what are they called uh the the glyphs I mean yeah. The blue ones are the glyphs, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, the I have like scaling yeah. AP glyphs, so like you no should... CDR. Yeah, the pages that I would like recommend for you uh -huh. is having one page, uh, at least like against AD two. Okay. AD picks mid, so you should you know always change change the ar like scaling health to armor. Okay. This um... and then everything else can stay the same. And also like a page where you have, um, we also have magic resist instead of like scaling CDR. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Should... sometimes whenever whenever you even play like Cartus or something and you face a LeBlanc or a Syndra or something, you uh -huh. want to be more tanky to not get like one shot. Alright, uh, gotta find it. H this is scaling HP and then, oh wait, wait, I want to get an armor one, right? Should I get like yes. should I get flat armor or scaling armor? Flat armor because it's it's about the early game. Later on, you get like a Zonius or at least some health. Okay. So they won't uh, be able to one shot you. But flat armor for the blue. Should I take full AP or should I take the CDR? Or uh, 
you against AD, you can either go uh, CDR or you can go. You can even go like if you want to be super safe in that page, you can even go Magic Resistor because oh, it's just gonna give you a, if the jungler is like AP and the mid laner is AD. So. All right, I think I'm gonna clear yeah. all my pages and then I'll just make something for like every situation. Um, yeah, I, I have like, can have, like pages. five five pages. Maybe. All right, so, I have like five pages for me. So this is the armor one, and I'm gonna have a have one with um, AP, I guess. Yes. And then I'll take I'll take the big AP ones. Um, where, this one. And then for this one, I'll I'll change to like a CDR one or something like that. Yeah. Um, and like, then you want one page with magic resist and armor, or or just magic. HP and magic resist. I think you that could, makes more you sense. Could, you could have uh, HP and magic resist because okay. then you're it's it's super effective against APs, you know. Okay, I see. It just it's just gonna give you both health and magic resist like stats. Alright. So this one's the one with HP and um Oh wait wait no no I needed to make another armor one with C D R. <laughs> yeah, it's not super necessary but it's fine. If you just if you prefer preferring some matchups. Um Oh no, I like I always think it's I don't know if it's if it's true or not, but I think it's more effective to have like your CDR maxed out if you if it drags to late game. Well, sure, it is like effective because there's like time you knowing the game when you can you miss a spell and then may, or maybe you hit this one and you you have you know lower cooldown to get the end and another spell to fit going. Okay. So obviously. Uh, for the magic resist page, should I take flat HP or scaling HP? Uh, for the magic resist? Yeah. Uh, didn't you fix that yet? Like the page? No, the, against the, against AP? Mid yeah, against AP. Against AP, so you, yes. You, you take scaling health? Full. Okay. I take scaling health. Go... I go flat magic resist? Yes. Okay. Or, or when, 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 whenever you like play LeBlanc, I like to have uh, as much AP early game as I can, so I take like flat AP instead okay, of magic I can, resist. I have a lot of pages, so I can make one for that too. Um, so this one's going to be the I think you flat actually HP. did one page I have, that was I, like that, but I'm not sure. Oh, I I have... Um, Alright, I'll, I'll go over the pages after I make this page. Sure. So, wait... Um, scaling HP and then flat AP, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And there's also a page that you could have, you know, against ADs that you want to have. Uh, you can have. You oh, want to have uh, 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 flat armor and flat AP. You know? Okay. Okay. I'll make one for that too. But uh, there's mo mostly. You don't usually play uh, against ADs right now. I, I'm I'm pretty sure because people yeah, there's not like, a lot. Get, like there's no yeah, like talents that they're no longer. Uh, Zed is pretty much perma banned in in on the Taiwan server. Like he will never appear. Like from silver to platinum so far, like Zed w gets perma banned every single game. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he never appears. Well, he's a good. He's good at snowballing, you know, eighty picks, and he he can run good. Yeah, I basically like never had to play against him because he's banned every single game. Um, so good. this page is my original page. It has um, basically ten percent CDR um, penetration, and then yes. scaling HP, and then AP. Um, yes. The second page is is no CDR, scaling AP, and then the same as before. Yes. And then the third page is um, oh wait, wait wait this is this is actually a page I had before. This is like when I copied someone's page for TF and he brought movement yes. speed. 
So this movement is like three, speed, three movement speed, um, scaling HP, and then magic resist. Yeah, that's a AP. decent page. That, that, that is a nice page for like, to, you can even use it on cartridges if you know. Oh yeah, or I'll because keep that one as well. Movement speed on cartridge is pretty nice. Um, <laughs> this page is the flat armor one with um, scaling AP. Yeah, flat armor, and scaling AP. This is the flat armor with 10% cooldown reduction. Yeah. Um, and then this is the scaling HP with magic resist. Yeah. And, and you then, know, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. When, when you want to, you know, whenever you choose which page you want to play, it's like how comfortable you feel in different matches. Because basically, when you face, we say, for example, uh, you play the Blanc. Uh -huh. Most mostly you want to get as much damage as you can, and so you don't want to go like a page that have uh, a magic resist. But whenever you get get into the matchup that you maybe get counter pick like a Syndra, you know uh -huh. that's yeah. gonna you know be among those Qs, and she can actually counter your your QW or yeah. even Ari. Then at that point you could get like uh, some magic resist because they can push you in and they can. Uh, harass you on the tower and everything. So at that point, you want to have some extra magic resist even on uh, LeBlanc. But whenever you play against champions who are more squishy and easier for you to kill in mid lane, that doesn't have the counterplay. So it's like, for example, uh, uh, like a Cartus mid even, or uh, wait, I've just um, uh, that is like easier to kill. Uh, like oh, maybe a brand mid or those in mobile picks that. It's easier for even a Katarina mid should be not yeah. even magic resist to her. Basically, someone you want to go aggressive on. You, you yeah, take against the looks and so on. Like, if they have no threat to kill you and uh, you want to go aggressive early, you take the. Flat. Yeah, and you also feel comfortable in certain matchups, so you have to be you know, very active in the, in the lane. So, whenever you have to like dodge their space and everything, you have to. React. Okay. So on. Right, I think I think that's everything because this is the armor and AP, and then this one's the HP um, and then flat AP page. I'm probably going to be using this one the most, right? Yes. There, for them. There's mostly like victors now. Like Victor has pretty much played almost every single game. There's always and a LeBlanc victor. Is, LeBlanc is a decent pick against him because she have a lot of kill pressure. On him. Okay. Especially if you get a gank. Okay, I see. Yes, I think... you can queue up. Okay, I'll, or, I'll queue up. Or, yeah, and uh, your masteries? Oh, my mastery. Um, wait, usually, like, because I, I rand always randomly make a page, but I think... I, don't, I think you should take Feast on LeBlanc. I'm not sure. Sure, sure, you, you can, like, Feast is just going to give you... Whenever you trade, you know, it just gives you extra sustain in lane. Fist is always a good thing, but if you later on, if you feel like super comfortable in the block, Wait. you can even get, you know, double edged sword. It's, it's Thunder Lords, right? Like for yes. LeBlanc? Okay. Yes. Um, Assassin, right? Or Biscuit? I don't know. Uh, on Actually, the, on the you can go, you can go both, but uh, Biscuit is just better for for laning. So. It's the same, like, whenever you feel, like, comfortable in LeBlanc, you can even go, like, Sorcery, you can go double edged Sword, and uh -huh. you can get Assassin, so you know you get that percentage damage there. Yeah, 2% is quite a lot it's as nice. well. Yeah, so it's nice. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we can always change the, the Mastery page within the... And, and also, instead of having Bounty Hunter, you know, Oppressor is better for her in early game, and that's what you want to have. Because to get to outskill Bounty Hunter, I mean to outskill Oppressor, you need three kills. And it's not going to be easy for you to get if you... Like, oh, Oppressor is just going to give you more early pressure on your... Uh, Th this is only for when I have my chain, right? Like, when they're chained up? Yes, or when your jungler ganks. Like, or even his red buff slow can... can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's that's stuff. really true. Or, or or your support rum or something. So that's okay. just going to help. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, do I queue up now? Yeah, yeah, you can queue. Uh, I'll do a secondary jungle because I usually. 
Like that's what I second. do. I just go jungle first, then mid. Oh really? I usually prefer jungle most of the times because it's just easier to carry. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that it's the easiest, like most influential role early, so it's easier to carry. But the second one's actually like mid lane, so. But because I'm not sure, like. In the middle of the lane, I like oh, the, yeah, game, the map, so you can go top bot. I'm not sure who to like pick for jungle if I ever do jungle though. Like if I ever get put into jungle. Right now. Uh, yeah, cause like I don't know Elise. what's it. Oh, Elise. Super good for solo queue. Um. Well, there's <laughs> like a lot of picks. Elise, there's right now is Evelyn super decent. Like in platinum, you can almost right now since Gragas and Rex are nurse. The uh -huh. jungle like opened so much, so you can almost pick every jungler right now. I've been playing a lot so, of like Amumu. <laughs> I've been spamming. Well, him not a not Amumu though. <laughs> That's like because Amumu is champion super. Like he needs his blue buff. If he if uh -huh. he gets stolen, he's just gonna get you know super behind. But Amumu like works in. But he's not like a super good on solo carrying because he needs some. Team damage. Yeah, yeah. I guess I always focus my attention on the team fights and stuff. That's why I always play those like late game or team oriented. Mid game, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those those types. Because they are like right, I got play mid. champions that are easier to uh, to do something in the team fights. Like because LeBlanc is harder. Like if you have to because you have to play like uh, smarter. Try to uh -huh. get picks and be more sneaky, you know? <clears throat> Do you watch Worlds? Yeah, I was watching it yesterday and today. Yeah, that's good. You see what they pick made, like, it's... You cannot compare, like, solo queue to Worlds, right? But you can still see the reason, like... Do you see Syndra picks? Yeah, what I see they a do? lot of Syndras. And you, you see how mid lane wins the game? Mid... Uh, whenever Faker had Syndra or Bjergsen had Syndra, uh, they... He when, when they win mid, they manage to push out the mid laner and rom and help the team. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. you want to play uh, champions that are like, if you win lane, you want to, you don't want to focus only on killing your mid laner, enemy mid laner, I mean. You want to oh, I, have as much impact on the map as you can. I actually oh. asked, I have a few questions. Band, really. um, I prepared a few questions and usually about yeah. roaming. Um, yes. Actually, they show right here. I'm gonna pick. Oh man, LeBlanc got banned. Do I play yeah, Karma I, now? I, know. Uh, <laughs> I can play if Karma. You, if, you want, if you want to. All right. Since you recommended this, um, oh wait, this, I'm banning right now. Um, should I ban Zed? Zed's not banned. Is Zed strong if, against Karma? If you're not used to, yeah, he could be good. Sure. He's okay, not like better. super strong against, but you, you're. Oh, you almost banned Karma. All right, I banned Zed. Yeah. I keep it. I thought you would, <laughs> like. Ban harder. It's fine. Um, actually, the questions I asked was like, um, like, well, first question is like, how to determine when to play aggressive and when are power spikes? Because I always hear the term used a lot, but I don't actually understand like, oh, which champion is strong during what time and what item. So basically, when you think about power spikes, there is uh -huh. you know items and levels, right? Yeah. So whenever you get like an item and you see that you have an item and the enemy doesn't have an item because you maybe farm better and everything and you get to better back, that's uh -huh. your you know point like a power spike when you should be stronger if you hit your spells. Oh. Most of the times. Now oh, someone dodged. That's good. Uh, <laughs> also, when it comes to levels, you think about like for example, we can get um, like fizz. Against uh, Fizz, against um, some other like champion mid lane that isn't as much uh, reliant on his ult, you know? Uh -huh. For example, like, in, because when you think about like Fizz, is pretty weak until he gets six, so that's also his power spike, right? Yeah. Whenever you get six, it's, it's those, whenever you level up your, it's, you know, level six, level uh, 12, and level 19. So. I think it's usually in terms of items, because like power spikes, it for Most levels, like for ultimates, it or or like for example, if like a champion hits three, they're really strong. 
Usually I know those, like Fizz or Riven or something like that. When they hit three, they're really strong. Um, yes. But oh. for items, it's it's hard to tell. Like, well, items is basically when you see uh, a power spike could be in an item that gives you, you know, m m more damage. And like for example, you you can take it like Abyssal, right? Uh -huh. So whenever you get Abyssal before the enemy mid laner gets Abyssal, whenever you play, uh, we can say like a LeBlanc against Ari mid. Right? Yeah. So whenever you get Abyssal before her, you most of the time if you hit your spells, you're gonna be stronger than her, right? So that's uh, like yeah. a power spike that gives you uh, more advantage in, in uh, uh, skirmishes. And oh, yeah, fight. But what if like, um, say you, you're, I don't know, I don't know how to give a really good example. Like, like. How do I determine like when when if I'm stronger than the enemy? Say like after my first back. It, it doesn't playing. always have to be that you're like stronger, strong whenever you all hit the spells because uh, whenever you play a mage mid laner, uh -huh. right? It's always yeah. about hitting your spells too and dodging spells. So it's mechanics that are oh, yeah. crucial in some situations. So whenever you can be, you can even be zero two with your mid laner you can still kill the enemy mid laner because he, he can misplay and you can you know outplay obviously okay <clears throat> so those are like you know you cannot always say that it's super okay this time i have this item no i'm 100% going to win this and i'm going to kill him it's not uh, it's not as easy um with every champion I, who who should i ban like who is leblanc weak against i was thinking well, morgana <laughs> uh, not really like you can right, just list. ban like the uh, Ari or Syndra because those are uh, even late. Syndra. Those are like annoying champs. Morgana, you can ban her too. It's it's okay. It got it got too late. I actually banned Lissandra. <laughs> Lissandra is also fine against LeBlanc, so because whenever you jump in, she can just double you, you know. Oh, nice. No and... Lissandra, no Kale. Oh, and they banned LeBlanc again. Jesus, they don't like assassin in your in your region. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I never played there, but. I never see those, like, I never see LeBlanc if he's that ban. Also, um, kill is Sandra, but I don't see that either. There's a... It's really, yeah, it's really interesting uh, how, if, like, every region doesn't play. Yeah, like, like a lot of the assassins get banned, I think. Like, nobody likes dealing with those things. It's just really annoying. But right now, I see, like, Nidalee open. I see so many good junglers open. It's just... I would like to uh, play there. So who should I play in this situation? Because our, our top took Karma, and our mid is Lux. Uh, if, if I can't play LeBlanc, if I can't play Karma, who should I fall to next? Well, if you're facing um, Lux right now, yeah. then uh, do you play Ari? Mid? My Ari is not that good, but I, I guess I could okay. pick her up as well. You, you also can play Annie. Uh -huh. Right? And he's, he's going to get outranged by looks in the early game, like in the early stages of the game. But would you uh, say Ari is better, or in in general, uh, like if I had to learn one champion, is would Ari be better or Annie? Well, Annie helps in game knowledge, like, uh, but Ari is more mechanical. So if you have issues with playing like SS recently, or you haven't played her for a while, I would prefer to pick Annie to first focus okay. on your game knowledge. <laughs> Too late, I already <laughs> locked it. But uh, yeah, I, I see that you <laughs> prefer Ari, so that's fine. Could even go with Syndra against Lux, because Syndra right now is really strong. Alright. I go Ignite, right? And then I basically take the fly AP page, or should I take the scaling you AP should page? Get, you should get um, Magic Resist, and you should get Health per level Okay. page. And you know, Quinn is Quinn's supposed to be AP. Wait, like um, it was. Um, oh yeah, it was this okay. page. And then same masteries. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. And okay. Battle. All right. Because you want to have kill pressure on Lux. So, whenever you play this lane, you want to think about that. Um, you never want to get both hit by her E and. She also will be able to hit the wave, you know. Okay, one, yeah. You don't want to let her push you in and then also poke you down. Oh, she wins. The same with heal. And, and and it's the same for her. You want to like 
push her in at the same time as you poke her down, right? So whenever you see that she can Q, it's it's good that she took heal because you're gonna destroy it with ignite anyway. So. All right. I will say, no. like, I've played a I've played a lot of the champions before, and I like just I played them for a long time where I can actually play them pretty well, but I always get rusty. Like Ari, I haven't touched since season I don't know, like four maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? That's that's not so good. So you you can uh, you you know you max your Q. Yeah. Then uh, then you can either go W and E or E. Right? When would Almost I max E? e? Like. Well. Or... Well, E is more like when uh, when you when your jungle wants to you know gank more or so, like when you want to. It's better for roms basically. Okay, I see. When you when you see that you have an opportunity like to better rums and it like it's mostly a preference because all pros and every everyone just max either W or like E and it's there's no really like an explanation for it, it's just uh, what they prefer. Because W gives you uh more damage a little bit, but E also gives you more CC so under that time you can do more damage, you know. All right. Like, I don't know. I feel like I troll a lot, and like I don't purposely troll, but I always play <laughs> champions that I can't play super well, and I just take it into rank the first time. Like, like when I started playing Karthus, just I think like I don't know. I, literally like four days ago, I just took, yeah. I just picked him, and then I just started playing him because I I was like, okay, time to learn a new champion, <laughs> and then I played That's... like a lot of games. That makes the game more exciting, I guess, and fun, if you can play more champs. Oh, yeah. But the ping's, like, pretty good, and on, on my server, it's, like, always 15. So I yeah. can always make, like, mechanical stuff. I don't know. Well, I got, I almost got diamond on NA last season with 150 oh, nice. ping and uh, playing Nidali jungle. So <laughs> I had to be, I had to throw my spear at the place when they will be like a, in three seconds, so that's, that's crazy. Some predictions, you know. <laughs> that's no, it's too not much. really so so laggy, but I, I I it was actually so fun to get like platinum one and there with Nidalee. I was like, how how did, did I manage to do that? <laughs> I actually started playing Nidalee like as well. Like I would pick her sometimes in the jungle. Um, I I haven't played her since. I haven't no, played her in a long time. Like, I haven't played her since I was, like, silver or something. <laughs> oh, my God. It seems like you, have, you, you haven't played all champions, but you, you play all champions. I, I played... I pretty much Kale played through one, everything. You mostly play Kale, right? Uh, like, when I climbed really high, it was, like, literally... I got it through playing just Kale one trick. Um, I played Kale and Lulu during the time. Like, Lulu was really strong as well. And I think I, I kind of just abused the champion because I didn't really know, have any knowledge of the game, like junglers and ganks, and they were really fast. So whenever the jungler came, I would just speed myself up and I would escape like most of the ganks. Yeah, that's, that's um, Doran's, right? Potion. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind in the stream, so yeah. Do, yeah, you want to go Doran's and um, um, It's at, wait, 1920 right now. I'm on game timer. 23, 24, 25. It's I'm I'm um, 11 seconds behind. 10 right. seconds because... Okay, 10 seconds. It's not it's not that bad. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my. Oh, he burned ghost. He had to. Uh, top mid. No, AD. I sometimes do this, but I sometimes I forget. Like when, only when I try hard, I remember to do this. Do what? Do like um, when I pull the. Oh, you put, put the champion. Okay. Yeah, so I can like go through really quick. Yeah, I'm too lazy to do this. <laughs> I never do this. I heard it's a really good thing to do. Like if you just look through, really fast. Why would Trantle go Hunter's Potion on top? 
What? Mm. The enemy trying to. <laughs> you went for hunter's potion. That's that's that's, that's really weird. Oh what? Lux is half health. It's good for me. So you want to what? start Q and then you can uh early game what jungle yeah, do they have? For Q. Uh they have uh wait what who? What is it again? Oh Shinza. Whoops I yeah, actually have decent level three ganks, so you can be careful, but if you manage to play aggressive enough against Lux and poke her down then you can to V1 them if it's necessary. Oh crap. Oh yes, I got Thunderlord on her. That was good. Do I take Charm level 2? Yes, if you want to go for a kill on her. And you, you're one life. Oh, oh crap, I missed See, You You get a level 2, you knew you would get level 2, and you didn't uh -huh. go forward. You could've oh, my bad. paced her under the tower, then get another Charm and Q. I mean the first Charm. That was my bad. Oh crap. To look for those level 2, you know, there's a that was like a small power spike, you can say. Oh my god, I missed the truck. I messed up. <laughs> oh shit, I I think I'm I think I'm like focusing too much on certain things and I forget forget how to do other things properly. For level 3, do I get W? Yes. Or do I? Okay. Nope. Uh, there's a fight going on in the jungle over there. I don't know what's going on. You should help. Me. You should help. Me. I don't. I think I'm too late. He has no ghost. I think Karma's dead. Oh no, Shinzal's dead. This is the dumbest thing I've seen. In a, should I? I think I'm gonna flash charm him. Oh no, I don't. I don't need to. He just ran into me. I don't know where Lux is. I think she I can behind. poke her. She has no potion. You win oh, against shit, her level now. Four. Yes. Oh shit, she didn't walk left. No, 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 no. Oh, she's gonna go home after she shoves this, I think. Oh, no, it's no. good that you, you know, look at the map too. Crap. I think Hecarim's too low. I really don't think we can do this. Ah, oh, she flashed that. But I got her flash though. Yeah, time it. You can just uh, click on it in the on your tab on her flash. Wait, how do I do it? <clears throat> you can just uh, press tab and uh, then you know how to ping. I don't know what button it's for for your pings. Wait. Okay, I have no idea how to just, do that. Actually, I, I actually don't have no idea how to do the thing where like you tell you your teams how G. much mana. Uh huh. You, uh, you, you can press. Uh, oh crap! I unbounded G to something else. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay then. Then you have. <laughs> then you have to fix the ping. <laughs> how do you ping on your way and everything? Isn't it Alt? Don't you know? But I do hold, you ping? I hold Alt. Okay. I hold then you Alt. Can try Wait. Okay, I can't do it. I, I need to. I need to set a ping button. I'm. I'm yeah. bad. <laughs> Cause I. I've actually bound one of my items to G. The the slot five. Like I go Z X C G. So oh, there's one thing you know. After you burned, looks flash. Uh huh. Right. You want to push out and back as fast as you can, so you get there as like almost at the same time when she does. Not like it's right now, because right now you're overstaying and you have so much gold on you and you're, uh, you're wasting like your kill, like you... Right now you don't have as much pressure as she does at this point, okay. because if there is a fight, like if there is a fight now, she will yeah. be much stronger than... What do I buy now? I have 1,500. You want to, you want to go for Morel, uh, first you can go for Lost Chapter and then you go, want to go, you can get some magic resist. You can go for uh, should I get boot? Or you just get should I 
last chapter and seven, seven hundred, uh, seven hundred twenty gold. Uh, I actually don't pieces. have enough. Oh, oh, you don't have. Oh, yeah, but then I, you can I, get. I bought the thing. That. No magic you can thing. By the magic pieces, uh, like two pots and pink ward you could get. Yeah, that's what, exactly that's what I got. <laughs> okay, I actually hit level six as well. Like instead of like. I, w I, w I wanted you to go for magic crystal because she's like a, like a poke, uh, but you could have even go for another amplifying thumb because oh, that also builds like. Oh crap! What's going just on? Just I thought top? you would you would get the whole magic resist. Uh... Oh crap! I'm gonna try to out shove her so I can do a roll maybe, because I'm at six, and I just bought. Oh crap. Uh, maybe we can fight this. What are they doing? Where are they? Out, out, out. Is the Shin's all there? Alright, I got Shin's I think that's good. Solo or Hector? No, with Hector. Oh. I don't I don't have a lot of confidence in my mechanics right now to solo kill people. Yeah, there was have... like no need to ult there, no, at the beginning. Uh huh. Because you went like for ult ult and then you start to do like press your spells, but you, you could have just used your E. Oh you I could have thought... timed it timed it with Hacker MC, you know? And then you would you wouldn't be like you need to waste your ult because then he gets CC'd backwards, you uh, like him and then you can burst him down easily. Alright. Do you think I can go for it back? Maybe I can upgrade Null, get boot, pressure Ari. I don't know if that's good. Uh, yeah, you, you can back now and just upgrade. Because you just pushed out and now oh, you can get the. Uh, I would either like get magic resistance and then try. You don't want to get boots on her this quick, it's a waste of gold. Oh really? You, yeah, because you have your mobile enough. Uh huh. Your mob mobile enough uh, to oh, like kill her. You don't really need boots uh, on Ari this early. I see. You want to rush Abyssal as fast as you can, then you're just gonna burst her down really quick. Oh my god! I don't have enough damage to kill one of the creeps in one auto. I literally missed like 4 CS there, it was so bad. Like my CSing needs a lot more work on Ari. I guess I'm not used to it. Yeah. Uh, can we get this gank? I don't I don't know actually. I don't think so. You know so. if you had an uh, amplifying tomb instead of boots you would actually get that CS. But it just... <laughs> when you rammed bot, uh -huh. you should have put a pink. The bash before you started to walk there, because you oh, want to know if they know that you're coming, right? That's yeah. Very... I see. That makes a lot, a lot of sense as well. Uh, we're gonna contest this blue. I think we can do it. I'm like pretty sure we can do it. Oh shit! There's a pink. They saw me. They know who I am. Uh shit. So whenever you are walking to blue buff, you want to ward over wall. Okay, you I got a killing spree, but... I got a killing spree, but I played so badly. There's a pink in this bush. I don't know if I can get it, or if I should get it. Flash, Lux is flashed the same time as me, I think. I need to show this, though. The, the thing is, you see now how... Uh... Wait, Lux is in that bush. Didn't go. I can. I, I don't know like if I have enough damage. Cause if I flash up and taunt her, her flash is up at the same time as my flash. No, you are not able to burst her now. She also have heal. Though. I'm pretty sure. Oh she yeah. Does. So you 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 are not blocked. So. What? Oh. Right my now, Lux could kill you with a one ult. But she run bot, okay. 
Yeah, she she ulted me while I was in the bush just now. That's why I wasn't too afraid. This build is really interesting. I never tried going like just buying the lost chapter and then going yeah, abyssal. Just giving you more like mana. Lost chapter gives you like a lot of mana. It's, it's actually pretty broken after the I, I really like that. You know, whenever you level up, 20%, it's, it's like full rotations on spell. Uh, even... I do think another one of my problems is I never go for kills, like, unless my jungler is here. Like, I only, I literally, like, my playstyle is, well, I, I just don't farm. I, I wouldn't say it's a problem, actually, like, because uh, in mid lane, you actually want uh -huh. to be, like, trying to re rely on your jungle when you get into higher levels, like, try to... Uh, no, you don't want to play aggressive when you don't know where's the enemy jungler and when it's, when your jungler is not near because you could just get uh, uh, oh, baited yeah. into fighting, right? But in lower edges you can actually be more greedy at the beginning, like, you know, try to be more, you know, cocky towards them. I see. So you can, uh, so you can play more aggressive and try to get picks, you know, poke her down so you're sure that you're gonna kill her and then whenever the jungler comes in you can maybe also kill him. Or, I feel, or at least escape. I feel like Ari's walking up. I don't know. Just a feeling. Just a weird feeling. Okay, probably. Not. I mean, Lux. Because mm -hmm. that Karma looks so vulnerable. So, Sin is mid. You know, it's that, so. It will be hard to kill Trandus, so I wouldn't go with Karma. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, the kill on Trundle is very hard. I, I was hoping she would just back and not, I don't know, maybe get killed by the Trundle. Lux is at bottom. Oh shit, I don't know what I can do. Push out, see if there is a chance for you to get a know, kill, clean a, up after. I don't think there's any, I need to go shove. Ult. So then you just push mid instead. If there is no chance. It looks is still there. Oh crap, Karma's dead. I don't know if I can do anything at top. If I go over. They, oh, they she's gonna buy it. She survived it. What is going on? Maybe I can clean up. Okay, I'm here. I hope I don't mess up somehow. I should be able um, to clean Trundle. I don't know where Trundle is. Is he still inside? I think he's gone. Maybe I'll shove this for Karma. I can get this into tower, I think. Before Trundle comes ho comes home. You could have left that to freeze towards her if you just... Um, oh, really? Hit it like a little bit. But uh, I guess it's okay because I think she went mid anyway. I was thinking just shove two waves all the way into their tower. Before yeah, that's Trundle what, comes and back. The, yeah, you could actually go the, because it's first blood tower, so you get more gold. You get much oh, more gold. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna grab this. This yeah. is just free. Yes! Oh my god, I'm rich. I don't know what they're doing though. That give you how? I think it's six six hundred. Yeah. Uh, one thousand two hundred left after abyssal. Uh, you buy? want to finish Morello? Oh, I want to finish Morello. So you just uh, build. I'm gonna buy pink. I think my pink is cleared. Yeah, my pink is cleared. Oh crap! You should get the another amplifier. Uh, I mean, Fiendish Codex then. Yeah. I didn't have enough to buy the amplifying after the Fiendish. No, no, no. It, it was good. It's, it's okay. Then. Oh crap! Karma's dead. I think. I don't know. I don't know, but I think Karma's dead. Why? There's... What is this dive? They're getting kills. You should ping that looks is coming, like, danger ping. Oh my god, I messed up. Hey, don't... I got her though. I, I thought she was gonna walk forward, so I put my heart there. Or my, my charm. Uh, what are you doing, Karma? I, I don't feel that like this is smart. I don't know what it is. I don't want. It. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and again, you didn't have to waste your ult there. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I missed my E, that's why I used my ult. I was so bad. Well, you didn't have to, you just, you know, he was already feared by Hector's ult, so you only need to QW. It's like... Where is I guess I'm not quite sure, like... I'm not super sure. Yeah. I, I messed that up. I should have just went to help him. I was, I was a little bit distracted. I'll, I'll admit. You should watch. You should just... You know, whenever someone fights on the map, you always uh -huh. want to click and watch. Because oh, you no, can no, see no. summoners, you can see everything. Because I was, uh... I was talking about my reasoning just now, that's why I was... Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh wait. Do I have enough? Oh crap, I don't- I, I had enough, I should've went back. Uh, I have to shove one more because it's coming. Yeah, more at least 1,100. Ah my god. She just pokes me like this. Oh my god, oh, I have, oh. You have your summoners. And Oh crap. And you have Abyssal, so you, you, your whole bur burst takes like 80% damage of her. I think Karma is literally... Oh my god, I fucked up. I fucked up my charm. You didn't die, did I? I? I got Karma killed though. That was so bad. Like, I didn't, I didn't understand, or I didn't know her charm range, like, I didn't mm. know it well enough. It's funny how they just, whole game, they walk up to you to die, it's, it's really... <laughs> they don't it's like, really, like, see the abyssal, like, power spec gives you so much, so much, like, kill potential. Uh -huh. Because they're, they're, like, super squishy for you, like, you just do QWE, and you take more than 60, like, 50-60% health of them. After Morello, what what do I... 3 spells. Uh, you can get magic pen boots. Oh, magic pen boots? I have 1,400. 1,400, then you want to get... Uh, for... Uh, you can go for a death cap. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're super... You're snowballing right now, so you want to get... Death cap. Because they have no kill potential on you right now. You know, this is funny. You're like introducing a brand new world to me. Like, I didn't know this shit existed. I thought I just had to farm oh. all game. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, like actually doing it like you have done it before when I watch oh. it. So you're doing it really like decent when it comes to like watching map and roaming. So that's actually good. Yeah, because I this do it is just gonna high. help you uh, to climb. Yeah, I'm planning to get this, really high, so if, I'm like if you super keep, serious. If you keep playing cons consistent, and uh, uh, this is just gonna help you out because, as I you see, this looks is like nothing. This game, she she is like she may be strong, but compared to you, she's nothing. Okay. You should now to try to look, you know, whenever you're this ahead. You want to keep the snowball up and uh, keep the pressure. So whenever you have a chance, like whenever you have ult, you always want to ult for a kill. Right now, whenever you see a pick, because you want to keep pressure mid. You want to play aggressive now and uh, get as many objectives as you can. All right. So you, so you look when the dragon is up. You look barren. You want to use your pink pink word aggressively oh, too. I pinged the wrong way. So. Alright, they're so dead. They are so dead. Yeah, now you're running mid bot because mid is pushed, so it's okay. Yeah, I went, I went to bottom. It's, but it's funny how Hecarim also like follows. They're, they're gonna get bottom for free. I don't know if Lux is gonna catch me here. I think she, that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to catch me while I return to mid. I knew it. I she fucking knew it. You should check her build first whenever uh -huh. you face check bash because maybe she is able to like kill you really quick. She just did it. She just did it, but I didn't die. <laughs> yeah, because she doesn't have Abyssal, right? 
Yeah. Or she doesn't have now. She she won't wouldn't be in range for Abyss of Living because it's she doesn't deal enough damage. Yeah, she had a war like in here somewhere and then tried to catch you know, me. Th that's the thing with you know this is right now on you. You have the uh, magic resist runes, you have the yeah. uh, health scaling, and you have Abyssal, and that's like super strong. Yeah, that's that's really OP against Lux. Yeah, against like everyone, like AP, AP. It's trying to kill yeah, the Embarrassed down. Good thing is she she wasn't able to follow from there because I put the pink and then she was like afraid to walk into her own jungle. Yeah, that's that's good. You know, sometimes you can bait rums too, right? So whenever you rum, you can just stay in the bush and wait for the enemy mid laner and then trade him. Oh yeah, true. You have to back. Oh no, there's a pink in here. Maybe I can catch something. I don't know how much my full burst does. It does a lot of damage right now. So you can you can test it. Like whenever you first time if you're not comfortable you can just test it and see. You want to see his build first. You want to see if you have hex drink or if they have Alright, I got him. That free. I think Karma needs the blue. Actually, no, I need the blue. What are you talking? Oh my god, he stole the blue. <laughs> oh crap, my foot went numb. I've been sitting for so long. <laughs> yeah, you, you went for Baron, right? Yeah, we went for Baron. Seemed like a good idea. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's perfect, maybe. Like, you just got picks. That's how you're supposed to snowball and try to end the game. Especially when you're playing an assassin. Because late game, it just, you know, it just gets harder and harder for you to get picks if you're not uh, getting stronger. Oh god. Uh, should, I don't have any pinks. Maybe I should have... Do you think I should have switched my trinket to the war clearing one? You can... Uh, no, this one is fine because this one gives you more words on the map. Yeah, that's true. On R you want, to have, you want to have more vision. So you can find picks easier. And you also, you know, sometimes you want to do charms overall and to be sure you want to ward first and then do the charm. After taking Baron, mm -hmm. you should have actually like backed to get your oh, death Oh yeah, cap. true. I could have got my just, death cap. Wait for your and get that cap because right now you're wasting your like huge power spike that that could give you gives you like a one shot on them. Yeah, that's true. That's that's so true. <laughs> okay. And then you know you you regroup with the team. Okay, I think I need to. I think I need to man up. I need to go in. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how it how it's going. And there's no, 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 first no. squish. I got it. Okay, that went it. That worked that worked well. Yep. But Ezreal was the man to engage. He, he did. Yeah. <laughs> but I okay. feel ashamed. <laughs> Ezreal was more ma he's <laughs> more man than me. Ezreal had a bigger deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Balls. I think you can end the game. I noticed that you actually like never press tab. What? Like, yeah, uh, whenever oh, you I don't, I don't do it a lot. I... You, fight, you you always want to check things what they got, who you yeah. want to kill, who is easier for you to kill. That that makes a lot of sense. Before team fights. That's a bad habit. I should have fixed that habit. No, my perfect KDA. Right, Did you die? You guys. No, 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 no. I didn't. If I'm ending did, it. Would, They're, they're fighting fix. in fountain, and I'm auto attacking the nexus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that worked pretty well. Yeah. Okay, I do feel like my mechanics a lot rusty, but I think I can I can fix that after a few games. Yeah, and uh, you know, whenever you try, like play Ari or I see like you have a decent like uh, your mechanics are not super bad because you still. You still oh, hit yeah. things, and you you like you did a lot of cues in on looks in mid lane, so he she got more pressured. Uh huh. 
uh, but yeah, so mostly it's you know for you to try to uh, try to you know push mid, go round, and it's good that you did at this game and basically you, you always whenever you engage and whenever you you run you want to make sure that you get uh, you know pink ward so you know oh, yeah. that you are not getting spotted and yeah. whenever you, like sometimes you don't, even if you don't you can still you know run but it's just gonna be harder sometimes like they might back away sometimes yeah uh, I don't really remember did you get like two hours or one hour was it I, I got two hours okay and you want to do them both now or you want to like uh, Take uh, take a break, practice something, and then then come back. It might it might be a good idea to like practice a bit before I before I do another hour. I think yeah, that because, might be good. Yeah, because then you can get some uh, uh, you know other ideas into your head th oh, or yeah, questions yeah. about the things that I just told you this this uh, session, and you can think about them, and uh, then maybe yeah, probably get okay, more questions. Okay. About some of the picks you tried now. Uh, from what I've seen, like Ari could be like a good pick for you to like get into, into diamond and even higher up. She's like super decent. Oh yeah. I see. She have a hard time against some champions though because she, she's more of a pick against like a champ. Like I saw Lux, you know, mm -hmm. Lux is super vulnerable to mob mobile uh, champions in mid lane. So assassins, obviously. I see. It's like it, it would be you know she's a Ari's in easier version of Fizz mid against Lux. Fizz stumps level six on Lux, and it's same with Ari because you can just dodge her spells with ult, and yeah. then you all in. But like Fizz has to survive the early game, and Ari. Yeah, because he, it's need. harder for uh, like it's harder for him to see us, and Ari's ranged, so she can still see us and also wait here. Uh -huh. uh, Fizz doesn't have the same amount of uh, mana. Mana re like sustain and the, the Q and basic attacks are not as oh, yeah. strong as in Ari. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, the, this game was pretty nice. And your C also yeah, there's your CS was actually pretty decent, but I would say it was easier for this game because you had a better jungler. Oh, uh, true, true. Also, um, also you know. We, Whenever you got your, you got so many early kills, so it was also easier for it to see us. Uh -huh. But uh, I noticed that in early game, like early game, you had the issues with CS, and so that's something to you know practice. Oh yeah, true, um, true. Last hits. And also, you now I use um, one program to that helps me with reaction time because mm -hmm. Ari is a skill shot champ, and uh, same with LeBlanc. So you could use this uh, program. I will send you on Skype. I, okay. I use this uh, to practice. All right. I just go, you know, aim person and challenge, challenge, and then you just, you know, just helps you out with reaction time. How do I get the chat up in mouse, Skype? mouse movement? You just press the oh aim booster. The challenge. Yeah, and you just, you know, oh, it just you helps just you out. Like it. Yeah. Okay, I see. Basically, it looks like this. Crap, I died. Um, all right. I I, I mostly get into like hundred plus before I go into games or something like you know before you start your first game of the day you could do that, or when you For don't feel up, like right? like you are consistent with your <laughs> with your uh, reaction or something like that you can go to this and okay. practice because it's much faster you know that. between in in queue timer and everything. Can oh yeah, that's that's so true. This like gives you something to do during queue time. Yeah, so that's one thing you can do. All right. I guess if you don't have any questions for now, um, all right. We yeah, could uh, you could just practice some other champions that you that I told you about. Yeah, like I think Ari I'll try LeBlanc. Ari LeBlanc and Karma for for like just you know just for for a few few tries. Um, yeah. Or a few games. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, yeah, and then so we yeah. can reschedule for whenever. Pro probably next, uh, like not tomorrow, but next uh, next week. Okay. I'm sure. So you just message me, and I I will answer as fast as I see the message. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, then good luck with your practice then.
And okay, yeah, thank you so later. much. Thank you so much. No you you helped me so much. Like, this I, this has no. been an eye-opening. I... <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> Now uh, diamond time. When I when, when I see you again, diamond fight. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, thank good you. Good luck then, man. Bye. Alright, bye. Well, not really far, but you know, somewhat ahead. So right here they come and he, he just camps top over and over the entire game. Uh, this this poor Aurelia right here. They're going to take down the tower. Aurelia is trying to clear the minion wave and try to make sure they don't Dark gets a really good stun, and Lucid makes this super flashy play, kills Aurelia again, and they take down the tower anyways. So now they're, 